Hello everyone, I've had a little bit of a break, um, almost two weeks I think. I'm going to try and do and upload every Friday. I've set myself a schedule because sometimes I can be so erratic, things just get in the way of everything. So I'm going to try and make Friday my upload day, even though I'm doing it on a Thursday today, but never mind. So um, today I'm reviewing Kavash by Robert Piguet. This is actually the third fragrance of his that I've reviewed. Um, the other one was Bandit and one before that was Visa. I smelled the infamous Fracas as well, which I really liked actually because I love tuberose a lot. Um, but this is one of his masculine or marketed for men fragrances. So it translates as whip, um, which is quite sinister actually I think. Um, but I've looked it up and it's kind of, it can mean kind of like a crop as well, like a horse crop, the thing that you whip a horse with when you're racing. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's really a reflection on the, the way it smells, it doesn't really smell, I associate whip with leather, <laughs> um, whips are often made out of leather aren't they? Kind of showing a weird side of me here, um, but yeah, I don't know, it's a woody sheep right anyway, it came out in 2007, um, and when the first couple of times I wore it I wasn't too sure. I was thinking, oh, it's, it's quite masculine. I'm not really into overly gentlemanly fragrances because they don't really fit my character or personality. But um, yeah, I wore it a few times and I've kind of grown to have a little bit of a soft spot for it. I'm going to spray the last bit on my hand now while I tell you what's in it. So the top notes, it's got three notes on each level of the, of the pyramid. So the top notes are mandarin, lemon and pettigrain. The heart notes are clary sage, lavender and nutmeg, and then the base is vetiver, patchouli and oak moss. So I will firstly say I, I kind of find pettigrain and lavender very similar, um, even though they're in different families, pettigrain is from the citrus family and lavender is kind of the aromatic herbal family. They do have a very similar smell, they're both very dry. Pettigrain comes from the twigs and leaves, so it is kind of herbal smelling anyway, even though it's in the citrus family. When I smell them side by side on their own, I do think that they're very similar, and the opening of this is very much that. You have a blast of lemon, and then the lavender and pettigrain, whoosh, and it smells very dry herbal citrus at first. Um, almost even, I don't want to say aquatic, but you know, when certain perfumers, more commercial perfumers, do a kind of sport version of their fragrance. it's It smells a little bit like that, almost like a sporty, masculine, tinging on aquatic, lavendery smell, which is what why I kind of didn't like it when I first smelled it. But that does change, and literally within minutes that changes. It really does settle really nicely. So, what I've smelled the couple of times that I've worn it is the mandarin um, is I, it's kind of like candy to me. It's a very juicy candy kind of citrus, and clary sage is also very smooth, like smooth tea. They both really kind of temper down the over masculine herbalness of the beginning of it. So when it settles, it's really really nice. That's when I start to think, oh, I could actually wear this. Um, it's. It does hold on to that masculinity though, which is, you know, it is a men's fragrance, I guess. Um, yeah, so I, I also get from it, when, when, it's, when it's in the drier stages, kind of like the heart note stages, I get an almost um, kind of fennel, almost licorice tone to it as well. So it's like a, a whole whoosh of things basically, it's like a, the citrus, the lemon kind of disappears quite quickly, but but then it's like a a smoothed out version of lavender with a little bit of licorice or aniseed or whichever one of those you want to pick. They kind of smell similar anyway, I think. But it's still cool. It, it's quite fragrant smelling. Um, it's quite. It has a kind of freshness to it, N not overly sweet. As I said, the mandarin just kind of smooths it out, which is quite cool. Um, and yeah, I kind of grew to love it a little bit more in this stage. The dry down, I really, really like. The lavender kind of sinks into everything. It's still there, but the sharp edge that lavender has is taken off and the vetiver comes forward, which is really, really cool. I actually don't like vetiver when it's in too much quantity. I think it's, it's just a 
sometimes unpleasant, but when vetiver is dry, it is really, really sexy. It's a, it's a gorgeous, dry, grassy tone, um, kind of, I think, kind of sharp. It turns a lot sharper when it's dry. So the vetiver really starts to push forward and you've got that kind of dry edge to it, which is really nice. Um, dry vetiver edge, even though I said the lavender dryness has gone, but the vetiver starts to come through. I'm not a fan of oak moss at all in any way, shape or form, and I'm thankful that I don't really think of this as being an oak mossy fragrance. It's a sheep pro at the end of the day, so it's going to have oak moss in it, but um, it's it's more about the vetiver in the base than anything, so it gives a chance for the more woody tones to come out when it's dry, which is when I really like it. That's when it's quite sexy. It goes from that almost sporty citrusy lavender to something a lot darker and a lot more sexy so nutmeg as well nutmeg i wanted to mention it kind of nutmeg adds a real woodiness to a fragrance it's very dry as well it's another dry note that's in this and i just really like it i really like it when it's dry it's it's not the most furthest projecting scent but um it wafts in a really nice way. It's got a really good amount of silage or silage, whatever that word is. Nicki Minaj, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the fourth fragrance I've tried by Robert Piguet. I've not been overly impressed with all of them, but as far as masculine fragrances go, I really like this one. I think it's cool. So it's it's nice. It just dries down to quite a sexy kind of herbal vetiver. It's lovely. So I'll see you guys next Friday for another review. Until then. Subscribe if you like, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.